Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle here from Cairo Apps, and today we have a two for one special. We are going to be uh, coding for a random image generator, or you can have it in non random order. Uh, but we're going to start off by making the random, and in the ending of this video, I will show you how to get the uh, certain order. They're very similar, but let's get started. So go ahead and open Xcode and create a new project. Make sure it is a single view application and select next. We're going to name it random or non-random. Whoops, did not spell that right at all. Non-random image generator. generator. The love of Siri. And I like to capitalize every sentence. <laughs> um, we're just gonna write dot com. Now, uh, I always will be using the iPhone for my uh, tutorials unless I actually want to make it for a specific iPad only or for maybe both but I highly doubt I'll do both. And as you should probably know now, I always use storyboards. It's new, you might as well use it. Get to know it, and it's the future. Get over it. Go ahead and select next, and save it to the desktop for easy finding. So, first thing we would want to do is, well, I'm going to, is I'm going to push this over so we now can see uh, my notepad. Um, I usually will have this here in all my videos, so you guys, if you wanted to just follow along the video so you don't have to listen to me saying, wait till I'm done, or pause it so you can just see it a lot better, you can just view it right here. Um, so what we're going to be doing first is we're going to go uh, straight into the storyboard, and I don't like having my status bar like that. I find it's very ugly. I'm going to make it translucent black. Also... I am going to drag in a image view and we're gonna make it about let's go that we'll put it right there and we also need a round rock button we're gonna name this uh, change image so now after we're done this we are going to go straight into the .h file or if you don't want to actually write the code you can go into the uh, uh, main storyboard just close that and go ahead and go into the uh, button above editor and right click on the uh, round rack button and just under interface just let go and drop now we want to make an IB outlet, so that's already selected here. And we are going to have it as strong. And we're going to name it image view. And I forgot to capitalize V. So that is all we need to do. Just go ahead and connect that. Now we want to open and close these here there. and just outside of this we are actually gonna add a uh, no 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 that is totally incorrect we want to open this and we actually want to drag the image view into inside these brackets here and have this as the outlet and then we want to name this image view keep it strong and it, yes it's an image view UI image view sorry connect that there and that makes more sense now we can go outside here and connect the button just about the middle we want an action and we're going to name this random image view button and let's just uncapitalize that there so 
this is going to be a touch up inside and the type is going to be an ID it's not going to be a UI button or any of that and we want it to be a sender so go ahead and connect that and now we are done in the .h file so just go ahead and close that and now we can go straight into the .m file this is really really simple but we actually don't need in the view did load these two here and we do not need to synthesize it that is unneeded it usually it just added it in the beginning when I made a mistake you should not have that um, when you go here you're just gonna under here you're gonna have your IB action that we made over in the dot h file and it is the random image button and just take off this and open one of those and close one so inside here we're just gonna write just follow as what I'm doing and I will explain it all after and we're only going to have two. So we actually want to have this as a uh, variable so of course I spelt it wrong random images not my day today I'm just going to retype that because that doesn't look right. Ran. One moment Guys, just random image button. Did I spell it right? Whatever, let's just copy it and paste the beauty of that. Um, so after we're done here, uh, just go ahead and select enter and I will explain here. So what this is, it's going to be showing random images we don't want that why not just uncapitalize it um, now we have a new now we have a problem there's a duplicate I think I should use that one just in case because maybe there's something wrong here uh, sorry guys about this this is not usually how it would go but let's just go ahead and enter it anyway so right here we have the random images uh, that will come in and at a random order and in the random order it will be uh, we only have two images so that's basically it and we forgot the equals now just go ahead and select enter go to, we want to have a switch and then these uh, this is we can just write random image and the case is actually going to be zero since it's our first one and the statement is going to be image view dot image and then equals bracket ui image and then image name named uh, sorry and the actual name of it so here we actually have to import the uh, two files so I'm gonna use my FBI con that I created and we're just gonna drop that into supporting files uh, we do want to have it in uh, our folder and I also will go to add my, hold on, this is not normal. And we'll just copy that and move her in. So after we have our two images, we actually have to write in here. I'm going to write my first one, which is going to be Facebook underscore icon and yes you do have to have the uh, uh, extension now. there 
Now we have to go figure out what's wrong because there's always something wrong. I'd have to say that this is not very good for beginners. But actually, we forgot the uh, this here and close the thing there. There, now what we did here is we added in the, uh, right here, hold on. And we are done. So right now, if we went to uh, run this, it would, of course, give us an error. Run this. We should uh, only have one image. That's the problem with this. It will only show one image when you uh, either select the button first or it'll automatically display it. Uh, we're going to go find out. Change image. Nothing. See? It has, you can either choose if you keep pressing it. I think it might change, but it won't. But that's just the uh, Facebook icon there. Um, but now we actually have to copy this, just go ahead and copy and paste, and we're going to change this to 1, and we're going to change the name to mine is going to be Cairo Apps, and yes it's a PNG file. So now when we go ahead and run it, it should show in random order. So you never know, if you want to have it in a specific order, uh, like Facebook and then mine instead of always having to re-click the button and it'll show in random however many times it'll come up. That's the problem we have if you don't want it to be in random order. This is very useful if you want it to be in random order but not useful for the people who don't. So if I just scroll down in here oh yeah this is all just like case 3, case 2 so we actually don't need any of that. Um, but to change this so it's not going to be uh, in random order, we actually have to get another. I have to get a, another bit of code from another project I have that I've been working on in here. It's actually we're going to be using synthesizing in this one. So just go to your H file and. Um, I will copy and paste this in, and you can just look at it here. It is a property, uh, pneumatic retain in brackets, and then an NS number and index. So go to the .m file, and just under impl implementation, uh, we want to synthesize a property, and that property is going to be index. So now that we synthesized it, um, we now have to add in the actual code. So here, we're just going to copy and paste this over. So as I see here, as you all see here, it's the index, which we already synthesized up there, and NS number with number with um, INT and the index value we actually don't want this to be seven we only have two images so it's going to be two and each time it's going by one it's not skipping one it's not doing any of that um, so if you want to skip one each time then that's what it would do and it restarts its cycle so once we have this we can just actually go run it you know have to do any other code than this and when we change the image, it will be first, it will be Cairo, then it will be Facebook, then it will be Cairo, then it will be Facebook, then it will be Cairo. So on and so on and so forth. Um, I will have the text file to this in the description. I should also add the uh, .h file, but I will do that later on. Uh, that is basically how you get a random image generator or a non-random image generator. Um, I will also have the code of this project in the description. Uh, this will be doubled so it should actually, sorry, it will look like this when you guys receive it. Just it will be like this. 
One moment. It will look like this. And I will have this set to EX for example. And you, all you have to do is just add this in. Uh, we actually only have two images so far. So if you want to add another image, just copy and paste this or just redo this code and just make sure it's not case one, it's case two, three, four, and so on. Uh, and you're good. So this is for a random. I'm just going to comment, uh, comment this. Random image. And we're going to have that. Copy, paste, no, and this right down here will be the non-random, so remember that, random, non-random, actually you don't have to remember it unless you're using the text file, non-random, that. So you guys can download this from the link in the description or the, just the text file. Uh, that will also be in the link description. If you have any video suggestions, please feel free to uh, leave a comment below or you can also Skype me at Kyle Greenlaw. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.